Fox Diner, that's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's Coffee is the best in the East End. Did anybody notice anything strange? No, nobody saw anything. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Were there other customers in the restaurant at the time? Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Back then, we didn't know anything yet. We just thought it was cold, you know? If I had known, I probably would have stayed in bed that night, not gotten out till it was all over. That's the problem. If we knew ahead of time what was going to happen, we'd never leave the house. Do we know anything about the victim? His name was John Winston. He worked at a little store in the neighborhood. He lived alone in a small apartment. According to Kate, he was just a guy. Tyler, can you shut that thing off? We're on a murder site here. Hey, I just thought I'd chill the atmosphere a little. Okay, it's off. I better turn this off before Carla pops a vein. Man, this guy is dying proof that pissing can be bad for your health. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's Zombie City. Ah, uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. Man, she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. It's pretty funny seeing you on the job at this hour, Tyler. What, you fall out of bed? Yeah, don't make me laugh, Gary. My lips are chapped.
Martin says this was the guy's table. Steak and fries. Looks like he barely touched his food. Strange. Coffee's not on the bill. Fall back asleep? Tyler? What time is it? Oh, hell. When are you coming back? I won't be long, baby. Go back to sleep. I'll be there when you wake up. Catch you later. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. God, poor Johnny was such a nice guy. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Could anyone else have come in? No, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No, I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit, the weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No, it was just a night like any other. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. And then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom, and that's when he found John. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You, wait, yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God, if I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. 
perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Night. Huh. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. This is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. Traces of blood. The killer was at this table. He came back and sat down after the murder. Garrett, there are traces of blood in this booth. Okay, I'll go take a look. Frank, can you verify all of the calls that came through this phone tonight? You got it, Carla. Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Stab some dude in the toilets? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be.
Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take care of it. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on it. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Maybe it was a revenge thing, or a psycho. This town is full of psychos, they're everywhere. When I was in the Bronx, I saw guys who'd rip your guts out and hand them to you just so they could take your shoes. Tyler, can you shut up for two minutes? A table knife covered in blood, obviously the murder weapon. The killer used his silverware to stab his victim? That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. Get Garrett. Make sure he checks for prints and identifies the blood on the blade. Okay. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Did you find anything, Tyler? <sighs> For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? My name is Carla Valenti. And you? What's your name? My name? <laughs> what the hell is my name? <laughs> Nobody uses it anymore. Guess I just forgot it. <laughs> Oh, Bogart, yes. Uh, my friends call me Bogart. <laughs> Must be because I look so much like that actor fella. <laughs> Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Huh. I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. Okay, I'm gonna go. Try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. I saw someone! Yeah, or rather, something. Nobody remembers it, but I saw him! I saw him come out the back door. Ah, oh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Uh, who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs>
You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, nope, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. <laughs>